uh, this energy is used for different purposes. Um, I use it for noise pollution control in these prisons. All you do is put the name of the prison. You can say all the prisons in the United States. You don't just have to say a prison. Say all the prisons in the United States, all the prisons in the world. And what it does, it, I have two people I know in prisons, and when I wrote to them, I asked her if they called, I said, How, you know, how's the noise there? Gee, I don't know, it's, something's happened. It's, it, something's gone, it's more quiet, and there's not so much confusion. Uh, one time on the TV, they were showing all the people, all the prisoners in the yard, they were getting ready to riot. I put this on, and guess what? All the prisoners walked in very quietly. Sometimes, if you want proof of things happening, of what you're doing on this mass, on this mass things, you'll get confirmation in least ways that you realize all of the blues the confirmation come back. You don't need it. You don't need it, but if you, if you now and then want it, it will come back. And it's very surprising the way it comes back. I was shocked to see the prisoners very quietly walking. They didn't know what happened. The guards didn't know what happened. They, they were surrounded by guards and the police, and here they're walking back. For some reason, they said, what happened? What happened? Before the school year, um, I used I'm trying to think which one did I use. I used one of these templates on all the schools in the United States. Uh, because what happens is there is a negative, what I was looking at psychically was a negative um, shield was put over all the schools in the United States so the children would keep down, won't learn. Uh, it wasn't a good thing. It was, it was like a little cloud of black around every school. So I used one of these templates for masses, and it was removed. And within two weeks, someone called me from um, about 100 miles away from my house and said they had done something in their schools, a Catholic school of all things. Uh, they were letting them meditate. Can you believe that? In class. Unbelievable. Uh, be, but you have to do it before the schools open. You must remove this negativity before it opens. There's nothing you can't do. You're doing good. The work that you're doing, and you're doing it to help humanity move forward. There's so much bad caused. Do good. I'm going to pass this around. When you come to the stones and the rocks in my book, I, before, when, before I used to get books on rocks and stones, and I would say, um, it was so confusing because they contradicted each other. So what I did with stones and rocks, I would sit and meditate and say, how should I use this in my work? And it looked like I watched a movie then. And which this particular one that I'm going to pass around, this is called Utah Ice. And I have it a lot in my book. And what it showed me was a spaceship coming down and then planting this in Utah. And has all the information of the universe in it. And the Indians in Utah would use this and tap into the information. I, this can be bought. All my stones and rocks, and I have even an 80-pound crystal, 20-pound crystals. Don't be stingy with your stones on your machines, people. Don't be stingy. You go to the pet stores. You can get rocks. This only runs 99 cents a pound. It's in the book. If you, also, you can go, um, it, in the back of the book, it also tells you, you can get this rock magazine. You can send for them in the raw, right from the miners. By the pound. By the pound. Don't be cheap with your stones. You must always cleanse your stones. You soak them in salt water or you soak them in Epsom salt. Put them in the sun to energize them. Okay? This crystal was this dark. See how dark that is? I just soaked it in salt water. Look how clear it got. Just soaking in salt water. 
somebody want to come up here and pass that around so everybody this is utah ice utah ice and it looks like ice you can buy it by the pound those templates i was telling you about on the rays are very very powerful for helping the world as a whole they're growing these pure crystals on the shuttle they're being put in the skies and when you turn on your cable tv you're being programmed to do nothing those who are falling asleep and they wake up and they feel Oh, I feel terrible. Had you gone to bed and taken a nap, you feel marvelous. When you wake up, you can do nothing. You feel rotten. You're being programmed to do nothing. This is very rare, and I also have one that is, uh, um, they, they're making them in, in uh, two different ways. The reason I was able to get this one is that it has a little flaw on it. But if you're interested in getting some of these, I have a man that comes around, he's called the Crystal Man, and he goes all over the United States picking up crystals from different people. And sometimes he gets uh, some of these. If you're interested, give me your name. When I get them, I'll be glad to. Uh, they aren't that expensive. And I'll let you, you want, anybody, want, do you want to examine this? You want to pass that around? These are grown in space, pure crystal, pure. Very, very strong for Cindy. You know, crystals are, are receivers and senders and accumulators of knowledge. They are storage boxes. It's grown in space. Let's talk about another type of crystal. are spherical crystals and in my book I have found them okay page 76 I'm going to read this for the audience on the TV with the new energies in coming in many people will be affected adversely for their force fields around the earth will be affected from the energies because of these disturbances, they will cause new diseases of the optic nerve, parasympathetic systems. This is an Im imbalance due to the interaction between the body and the Earth's magnetic field, as well as the electric magnetic pollution. The natural flow of the energy flow is from left to right. When the flow is interfered with, it will be back up going in the opposite direction. What it was shown to me is they showed me the grid over the earth. And part of it, because of them deliberately trying to cause disturbances in different places, the grid looked like spaghetti. And what happened is when that grid looks like spaghetti, the people under the grid, living under the grid on the earth, will go crazy, their optic nerves will go screwy. And what it looked to me, I was watching the auric field back up like computer chips going in the opposite direction and getting stuck there, like computer chips backing up. The wearing of spherical crystals releases it and keeps it moving in the, in the right direction. Spherical crystals, spherical crystals. You can pass that around. You notice I have spherical crystals on. The stones, I have a, a whole chapter on rocks and stones and what they do. Now this is what it does for me. For your work, if you feel that that particular stone is not right for your work, ask. Meditate on the particular stone before you use it and see if that stone is for your work. You never, when, if someone says, oh, here's something, wear it. Here's, here's the gift, wear it. That's a no-no. That is a big no-no. Here's a ring, wear it. That's a no-no. You never wear it till you cleanse it in salt water or Epsom salts, put it in the sun, 
and then you meditate and see if you are allowed to wear